guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and it's time to look at my stuff. It's my haul video from the latest Kane County Toy Show. That's right, that time of year again. You always get this twice a year. It's the thing that I always look forward to. I do most of my toy shopping, especially my vintage toy shopping, at the Kane County Toy Show uh, up there near Chicago. Absolutely love it. If you guys have been following me for any time at all, you have heard me talk about it over and over and over and over again. I've even featured the stuff in these haul videos right here. I have so many cool things that I want to show you guys today. So I got most of my stuff in this little bag right here, so I'm just going to pull it all out. We're going to talk about all the cool things that I got. So what are we waiting for? You want to see all the cool things that I bought at this year's Kane County or the second Kane County of 2014? Let's jump right in and do it. So let's start with some of the cool things I got sitting here on the table. Um, I'm going to start with this. This, is, this was kind of, I'm going to start with this because it's one of my favorite things that I bought that day, um, only because it's so silly. I don't know if you guys remember, and I have some of the bad guys from this line, but I don't think I've ever shown them in videos before. Hasbro did this line of Conan figures in the 90s, mid-90s or so, uh, maybe like 96-ish. And they were really, really weird. Um, they're these really big, bulky guys right here. Um, this is Conan. Doesn't look like it, does it? It's because this is one of the weird variants. He's got all this crazy metallic kind of samurai armor, this weird little hook. Very strange figures. They don't look like Hasbro toys, that's for sure. The horse, he just wants to lay down, so he's going to lay down. Uh, let me get a close-up shot for you guys here. These guys are insane. Um, and what thing was one of the things that was really weird about them is their action features are triggered by pull strings. So check this guy out. You pull a little string on his back. Yeah, amazing action feature, right? And of course, it's very easy to laugh at. Oh, well, his weapon is very tight in his hand and I'm, a, there we go. All right, I didn't want to break it. All right, a lot of people laugh at this guy's action feature. <laughs> you can see why. Um, these are really, really crazy, and he's got all this removable armor here. One of the things that's interesting about this, how many of you guys remember the show Kablam! on Nickelodeon, which had a little segment called Action League Now? This Conan figure right here was the base for the flesh. Oh, so that's one of the things that makes this figure kind of neat. Ah. <laughs> this is a silly pull strike. Yeah, see, he looks a lot more kind of Conan-ish without all that weird samurai armor on. But what's one of the things that makes this guy so cool is all of the shiny armor, right? So here, we put this back on. Um, <laughs> he's so silly and absurd, and he comes with this big crazy horse. And that's what made me reach out to buy this guy, because he was very affordable. He's got this really big horse, which also has his own pull string. Makes him do this. And we can put Conan on his back. And he's got his weird little hook sickle thing. And let's see. I'll pull both strings at the same time. Ready? It's going to be crazy. Oh! oh, he threw his little weapon. <laughs> there we go. Crazy Conan figure. It's just so funny. This line is just hilarious to me. So I had to have him. He was really affordable. He's so silly. I like getting weird things like that in my collection sometimes. So... Crazy Conan, he sits over here. Awesome. <laughs> um, another fun little ride on I got, check this out. This was made by Imperial, a uh, little rhino with a saddle on it. There are several different beasts like this. Um, it's basically like for the knockoff He-Man figures, the knockoff Masters of the Universe figures, those 5.5 inch figures that were all done in that scale. There were a lot of knockoffs in that era, and that's exactly what this is. So it's just a really cool beast that those types of figures can ride on. So, love him. I've been wanting to pick some of those up for a long time. Finally decided to pull the trigger on it. All right, let's start digging in my bag here. Let's see what I got. Uh, oh, first of all, extra Conan figures. Uh, these got thrown in for free since I bought the one with the horse. So there's two more Conan figures from that line. This one's broken, unfortunately. This one, ah! Crazy pull string <laughs> action features on these guys. So there we go. Two more Conan figures. All right, what else we got in here? So <laughs> one of the things I have often wanted to do and never really did it, but found the opportunity to do it at this show, so I, I went for it. Um, 
I do have a very small Power Rangers collection, just the Mighty Morphin stuff. I have the old Mighty Morphin movie figures, so they're like the metallic ones, and then I've also got all the SH Figure Arts ones, and the modern Megazord and, and Dragonzord that recently came out from Bandai. So it's a very small Power Rangers display on my shelves, and I've always thought it would be cool if I picked up some of those other... I, I want to use the word knockoff Power Rangers that were out at the uh, same time as Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin was huge, so there was all these spinoff shows that were very similar. VR Troopers, Big Bad Beetleborg, etc, etc, etc. I thought it might be fun just to get the main characters from those to pose with my Power Rangers. Well, came across a box at Kane County. It was full of Power Rangers and all that stuff. Good prices. Dug through it. And I found myself <laughs> the three VR Troopers. Boom, right there. So I went ahead and said, well, I guess this is it. I guess I'm buying these guys to go with my Rangers. So there we go. Got our VR Troopers right there. Check it out. And then to go right along with them, Big Bad Beetleborg. Big Bad Beetleborg. That show was absurd. You know what? And it was really tempting because this guy also had all the weird kooky monsters like Flabber and all the other monsters. Um, and I was real close to buying them because of how terrible they are. They're seriously bad. But I felt like it'd be just one of those goofy things to have. I'd I passed on them, but I had to get these guys. They're actually really cool action figures, um, despite how silly that show is. So there we go. I got the, the Beetleborgs to go with the Rangers. I've got the VR Troopers to go with the Rangers. And then along those same lines, I got this one carded guy over here um, that I'm going to open up. It's another one of those shows that's kind of one of those, it's not quite a knockoff. I mean, it's very similar. It was out at the same time, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. You guys remember that one? Had one of the Lawrence brothers in it, I think. Um, so I got the main guy, Servo. I'm going to open him up, and I'm going to set him next to those two. I like to do weird things like that sometimes in my collection. Just kind of like get these weird little subgroups going on. And it's just fun sometimes, you know. Um, and this too. Always my favorite uh, Ranger villain. I got the original Lord Zed in the box. Uh, I will probably open him up too and put him with the Rangers. That way I've got Lord Zed with him. So there we go. Yeah, I got some Power Rangers and, and Power Ranger knockoff guys this time. That's not something I typically buy a lot of these shows. So, got some um, Pee Wee's Playhouse toys. Not that long ago, I acquired the Pee Wee's Playhouse playset and a few figures to go with it. It was just such a cool playset, and I was really happy to finally get it. Then I came across these guys, uh, these guys here. They were being sold loose for like four bucks a piece, so I got Cherry and um, Conky. And I got them to add to the playhouse. So eventually, when I get all my basement all straightened up here and I can start setting up my collection the way I properly want, uh, I will have Pee Wee's Playhouse set up and I'll have all these little guys. Come in and pull yourself up a cheer. You like Pee Wee's Playhouse, right? Everybody likes Pee Wee's Playhouse. Come on. All right, let's start digging in here. Let's see what else I got. Got some Ninja Turtles goodies. Here we go. Let's pull these out. First of all, my favorite Ninja Turtle haul from the day actually came from my buddy Dave Perdue. Give a shout out to him. He scored this guy for me, met up with me at the show to give him to me. This is a uh, Sandstorm, incredibly cool figure from the old Turtles line. He's a camel. And one of the things that makes him so awesome is he's got a magic carpet shield and a genie lamp gun. <laughs> then he's also got this little sword here. Uh, just a really, really great figure that I didn't have before. Also, check this out. He's got like the swing waist, which wasn't a common thing on Turtles toys. That's like, it's like the old Masters of the Universe figures. Power Punch. Very cool. Really happy to have this guy added to my Turtles collection because he is one that has eluded me for a long time. A couple more Ninja Turtles I picked up um, from a very cool gentleman dealer who I'm going to give a shout out to because he talked to me. Um, you guys remember last time I had like all those... Uh, Swamp Thing figures and everything. Well, he remembered me and he saw the video and so we chatted for a while. I bought some cool uh, Turtles toys from him. So, got Ace Duck. He's in pretty good shape. He's got his wings. He doesn't have his hat. Um, does have some of his little egg bombs, which is awesome. And I needed a, a Ace Duck that was in a little bit better shape than the one that I had. So, that's perfect. Um, picked up a couple others from him. This one is just one of those really, really silly turtle variants, but I had to have it. Look, it's Raphael as a magician. Check this dude out. Look, he's got a sweet little mustache. A little rabbit pops out of his hat. Ah. Look, there's even like a little bird underneath his cape in the back. <laughs> I love it. These, some of these variants are just amazing. I, I, I love them. 
And I believe I had one more. I got one of the neutrinos. There we go. Boom, neutrino. Oh, I love the neutrinos. I don't have all of them, so needed to grab one of them, add them to my collection. So very, very cool there. All right, next batch of stuff here is incredibly cool. Really happy to have got this stuff. Got to give a shout out to another friend of mine, um, Ryan at the Hive of Villainy. You guys remember I actually had the tendril uh, and the Metlar that I got from him. Um, not the Metlar. You know what I'm talking about, though. The, the Inhumanoids figures, the Tendril and everything. I got those from him a while back. He had a booth at Kane County, had a bunch of incredible things, and one of the, a lot of the stuff that he had, I decided I was finally going to splurge on, Black Star Toys. I have been wanting to get Black Star Toys for so long. He had a ton of them. Loose, not all of them had their weapons, but they're great prices. Check these guys out. Very similar to Masters of the Universe and those other five and a half inch lines. So these guys are incredible. This one's great. Check it out. Look, we got his little, little trident weapon there. Got his little shield. Oh, this guy's incredible. Look at him. Look at him. So we'll get him over here. So happy to have so many of these guys because I did not have them before. This little cape thing is broken, but very cool guy there. More Black Star. Check it out. Boom. And this is great because I've got a John Black Star already and I've got the little dragon form to ride on. And now I've got so many more figures in the line that I didn't have before. Very, very cool to finally have these guys here. Man, love this. Sorry, they're all in bags here, but I'm getting them all opened up so you can see them all. Very cool collection of little figures here. And you even got these little guys here. Boom. And boom, very cool little guys there. And my favorite thing else that I picked up, part of the Black Star line, check out the ride on here. Oh man, he's so incredible, right? He's missing his horns on the front, but this is a really, really awesome ride on beast. I love this guy. You guys probably hear my dog, she's growling at me down here. I apologize for that. Go lay down, Jasmine. She just really wants my attention right now. <laughs> but we get some of these guys here. Love these guys. We'll just put this guy up here for now. But yeah, it's awesome. I love the ride-ons. I love the beasts and stuff. And this is just such a cool one. And that's going to look awesome with all these Black Star figures on the shelf. Ah, love them, love them, love them very much. All right, what else we got in the bag here? Oh, I should have I should have pulled this guy out a little bit ago. You guys might remember my last look at my stuff video from Toy Man Toy Show. I found one of those weird knockoff Power Rangers figures that was very similar to like the Masters of the Universe kind of stuff. I found another one. Yeah, I got a blue guy now to go with my green one that I've already got. These are just so silly that I love them very much. All right, this next thing I'm going to show you guys came out of that Power Rangers bin also, and this was a very special find to me. And it's going to seem really weird to you, but you always have those memories of toys that you played with as a kid, and sometimes you try to remember what they were, and it's really hard to find information on them. I remember these little, unarticulated, glow-in-the-dark ninjas that I had, that I think I bought from the dollar store, that had clip-on vac metal parts, and capes, and claws, and all kinds of cool things. And for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out what they were called, and where, where I could find them, and I've been very unsuccessful. It's been so hard to find them. And not that long ago, thanks to my buddy John Kent, I was finally able to identify that they were from Chatmay, um, and they were released in the late 80s, early 90s, somewhere around there. But it was still really hard to find them and buy them. Well, digging through that Power Rangers bin that I already talked about, randomly, I came across these guys I've been looking for for so long. So this is what they look like, and they're very incomplete. They're supposed to have capes and a lot more clip-on parts, but I was so excited to find these. And you guys probably think I'm crazy because there's really nothing to these little guys. They glow in the dark. They got shiny parts. That's probably why I liked them so much as a kid. But this is just one of those really special things that I've been looking for for so long. I kind of considered it a small grail piece because it was one of those things I remembered but could never find. And I finally found them. And look, I'm dropping them now. <laughs> and the armors are falling off. But these guys, are just, they're just fun. They're really cool, and they're those great little things that bring you back to your childhood and, and give you those cool memories, and that's why they're special, and 
Definitely one of the most special things that I found on the entire trip. All right, uh, here we go. Food Fighters. And these, uh, shout out to my buddy Josh, who also had a booth there. And I was able to pick up a couple Food Fighters that I needed for my collection. Uh, you guys know that I love Food Fighters. And it's really funny because Major Munch here, and I've got like the variant versions with the different colors like the pinkish donut and the orange ice cream. And it turns out that the ones I have are actually the more rare ones. So it's really funny that I didn't have these original ones. And now I do. And now I can add them to my collection. They don't have their backpacks or their guns, but they're still food fighters and one of my favorite toy lines. And I'm really happy that I was able to pick these up because they're getting harder and harder to come by these days. It's crazy. All right, how about a little Masters of the Universe love? Here is a vintage figure that I did not have that I'm really glad I can add to my collection. It's one of those, not ultra rare, but is more rare variant of Grizzlore, which has been known as Blackface Grizzlore, which we should come up with a different name for him. But either way, the difference obviously is that his face is darker uh, than the regular Grizzlore. The regular Grizzlore has the tan face. This one's got like a dark brown face. So that's what makes him different. And I didn't have him before. And now I've got him. Great deal on him. Awesome vendor that I see every time I go there. So shout out, because I know he's a big fan of my videos as well. Thank you for the hookup on the Grizzlore. Oh, let me show you the other thing I bought from him. This is my other, one of my other favorite finds of the day. One of those weird, random, obscure Masters of the Universe items, because I love getting those kinds of things. This is an unopened box of He-Man crayons. Look at that. How cool is that? They're tiny little figural crayons. They look like He-Man. They're just in different colors. Um, look at the artwork in the background. Castle Grey Skull is painted in Skeletor colors. The artist obviously had no idea what he was painting. <laughs> and then I love the artwork on the back too. You got that shot of He-Man punching Skeletor into the throne from the mini comics. This is awesome. I love it. Love it. Love these random things. So that's all my loose stuff. Let's talk about some of the other carded things I picked up. Um, Obviously, you guys know I've been on a quest to pick up some of those Toy Biz Marvel superheroes figures, the silver carded ones. So, added two to my collection. Got Hulk and Silver Surfer. Uh, it's the flat Silver Surfer. There is a metallic one too, and they had that one, but I opted to go with this one. I'll get the metallic one eventually, but there we go. Adding to my carded Toy Biz superheroes collection that I've, for some reason, decided that I'm doing. I don't know. Just like to do weird things like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, another really awesome toy line that I loved as a kid. Uh, you don't come across it very often. Really liked that I came across this carded one for a really good price. Mega Force. These were great. They were just little kind of like military vehicles and stuff, but they were die cast metal. So they were really cool. Um, I did not have this one as a kid. This is the only one the vendor had though, so I bought it. Um, some of these ones on the back though, like the one with the little yellow rocket right here and the little tank next to it were the two that I had as a kid and I love them. So I'm on the hunt for those still. But was really happy to pick this up still. I like the, I really like the Mega Force line. And another carded figure here. Got myself a Demolition Man figure. Can you guys tell why I bought this Demolition Man figure? Because it's a new Adventures he of He-Man figure repainted. That's flip shot, guys. See that? Same figure, just repainted. You guys have probably heard me talk about this before, but the Demolition Man line from Mattel Reeves New Adventures He-Man parts. Um, Sylvester Stallone is He-Man's body, for goodness sake. Um, so that was really cool. I'll probably actually open that up, put it on my New Adventures of He-Man shelf. Last carded piece I bought, my favorite carded piece that I bought. Uh, shout out to my buddy, uh, Dealer Dan. I love how I'm getting to know everybody there. It's really cool. Um, Army Ants. Love Army Ants. Never see these things on card. Jumped on this. I love that artwork. Look at that artwork on there. And there's some really great little guys. I actually don't ever see these ones. You come across loose army ants sometimes, but these ones are crazy because there's like a guy strapped to a rocket and one of them is a tank. That's nuts. Look at the back there too. All that great stuff on the back. This was a great line that Hasbro released. Love them. Minifigure fans love army ants. I've always been a big fan. Had a bunch of them as a kid. So it's really cool to get a mint on card one. All right, last find from Kane County is one of the pieces I've been hunting down for quite some time. And you guys might remember I did a video on this, but I borrowed the one that I did a video on, and I've wanted to add one to my collection ever since. It's Rom the Space Knight from 1979. Uh, this was a Parker Brothers figure. 
Of course, uh, there is a Marvel comic book series that is this guy here. Uh, it actually came out at the same time as a figure. Like, when Parker Brothers released this, they wanted it to be a big deal. They worked together with Marvel. They got a comic series going. Um, but this toy never really took off the way they intended. They were trying to get on board with the space bandwagon because of Star Wars. They wanted this to be a big deal. Um, and he just wasn't as big a deal as they were hoping. But... Very cool toy. I feel like he was kind of ahead of his time. He's really kind of getting expensive now. He's hard to get. I got an incredible deal on this guy. He's missing his guns, his weapons. So if anybody has extra weapons out there, hit me up. Um, but I got it on a table that where everything was 50% off. So I scored him for $30. And trust me, that's a steal. That is awesome. He works. So yeah, check that out. I can flip him on. He's got the little light up eyes there. Let's see if we can see him. There you go. Check out his light up eyes. And these guys, he, like you punched in little codes on these buttons on his back that got him to do different things. You hear that? That's his respirator. That's supposed to be him breathing. Such a fun figure. He's kind of a piece of toy history. Um, awesome figure from the 70s. And I'm really glad to add this guy to my collection. One of the best finds of my trip to Kane County this time. So there you go, my friends. That's my stuff. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at everything with me. It was a really great haul. I had a great time. Hang out with good friends. Um, always love getting to run into people that want to meet me and stuff like that. Ran into several uh, fans of videos, which I think is awesome. Um, if any of you guys saw me out there, which I know some of you did, and didn't say hi because you, you were afraid to come talk to me, don't be afraid to come talk to me. Stop and say hi. I will gladly at least like shake your hand and say hi. How's it going? Um, also, shout out to all the awesome dealers out there. Seriously, I know as toy collectors, sometimes we like to look at the dealers as the enemy, um, you know, because they're like, they're scalping toys, you know, some of them sell things for higher prices and we like to play. We like to get a little mad at them sometimes, but seriously, I've met so many really cool, really nice dealers out there. So many of them are fans just like us because it's unbelievable how many of these guys I run into who know who I am and they watch my videos because they're fans of toys. So... Seriously, just be cool with the dealers, you know, get to know them. They're good guys. They like toys just as much as the rest of us. There's a lot of cool guys out there at the Kane County Show. So guys, if you ever get a chance to hit this show up, it happens every year in the spring and again in the fall. It's a fantastic show. It's up in the Chicago area. If you just do a Google search for the Kane County Toy and Doll Show, you will find it and you will always see me there. Happy hunting, my friends. And until next time.